Hello friends, welcome to Technique, this is Nirmal here and in this video we will share some of the basic tips and tricks you can try out on the Lenovo K8 Plus. So we all know that the Lenovo K8 Plus comes uh, with uh, the stock Android and there is no YBI or a customized UI so that's one good thing. So in this video we will talk about some of the basic tips and tricks you can try out. So uh, before starting the video we will just remind our viewers that some of these tips and tricks might, be, might not be specific to uh, the Lenovo K8 Plus. These might be specific to other stock Android devices as well. So without any further delay let's get started. So first up let's go to the notification center and cube toggle so here you can see the edit button and here you can drag and rearrange uh, the icons in the cube toggle so these are the icons available and these are the ones not available you can just drag and rearrange them uh, whichever you want and then uh, you can also reset it to back to normal so once you are done editing you can go back and that will be saved now next step if you press and hold the gear icon here you can enable uh, the the option of system ui tuner so you can see system ui tuner has been added to settings and here you can see uh, it provides some additional options uh, for customizing the status bar so remember that these are like experimental features it might go off after some time so if you if you don't want you can just press and hold it again and uh, what happens is this uh, will be removed from the settings so system ui tuner does uh, option offer some basic options next step let's have a look at the display option so selecting the display option you get uh, the adaptive brightness option that's optimized brightness levels for available light then uh, the second option is pretty useful color mode so you can either choose from standard colors or if you like vibrant colors for your display you can actually enable the vibrant colors here then next step uh, you can uh, see there is an option uh, to press the power button twice for cameras so you can press the power button twice for camera so we'll just demo it so press twice and it opens the camera so that's how uh, you can open the camera quickly and uh, then there is also uh, there is an option for VR glasses split screen uh, mode switch so what it does is uh, it once enabled uh, press and hold the power button uh, to enable the VR split screen uh, mode so we'll just demo that as well so press and hold the power button you can see there is VR split screen mode and if you have a, um, a VR device so you can uh, just enable that from here. Then scrolling down you can see there is an option for double tap to screen on so uh, turning it on you can uh, double tap on the screen if the screen is turned off this the phone will turn on so we'll just demo that again so there you go that's uh, how the uh, uh, double tap to wake works so that's another useful option under the display settings. Then uh, under the storage settings, uh, there is a default explore button. So uh, although this device comes with uh, the file manager included, you can still have a look at the default file manager available with stock Android using the internal storage option and uh, clicking the explore option. Next step, there is a music key here. So music key, double uh, click on the music key is uh, to switch to the next track. Triple click the music key is to go to the uh, previous track. Now there is an option to long press uh, the music key and uh, you can actually customize what you want uh, to do with uh, the long press of the music key. So you can start camera, you can start the flashlight, you can take screenshot or even you can open an app. So you can uh, see I can just uh, select uh, play store here and then uh, the music key is located here. So there you can see that's the music key. Now we'll just demo the music key with uh, the long press of the uh, music key. So there you go we have now opened the play store so similarly you can just configure what you want to do with the long press of the music key then you have an app called uh, dolby atmos so dolby atmos app uh, is a pretty useful option this phone does come with dolby atmos and uh, this is really good in terms of the music performance so you can actually choose the mode uh, uh, of uh, music playback movie music uh, game mode so you can also uh, set the graphic equalizer and uh, there is also bass en enhancer and volume level uh, included so these are the options available in the dolby atmos app and finally we have the split screen mode uh, where you can uh, have uh, two uh, apps running at the same time so just press and hold the recent ski and you can uh, just uh, switch to uh, the split screen mode so this option is also available on this device so pressing and holding the uh, button once again disables the split screen so these are some of the options available in the Lenovo K8 Plus uh, powered by the stock Android. So if you have this device, uh, do try out some of these options. And these are uh, some interesting options. There aren't too many options because this has a stock Android. So if you have the device, uh, do try out these options. So hope this video was useful. Do hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.